Hello and welcome to Robu. In this video, we are going to make RFID door security system. So this is a simple project in which we have a RFID reader and we have a RFID tag. So when you tap this tag on this RFID reader, the door is opened. So for that, we have this solenoid latch. So when you tap on this RFID tag, it will go. The code is read by the RFID reader and it will be passed to Arduino Nano through SPI protocol and this door latch will retract and the door is opened. So the way it works is that this module sends high frequency signal to this tag in megahertz. So this transmits 13 megahertz signal to this tag and the reflected radio signal is picked up by this IC and the code is decoded. So it is a four byte long code which is decoded and sent through SPI protocol to Arduino Nano. So first let's see how to connect this tag to Arduino Nano and then we will see how to power this solenoid. So the circuit diagram is given in the blog link is in the description. So it, this model works on 3.3 volts. So Arduino Nano has 3.3 volt pin here present. So you can directly connect it to 3.3 volts. Now we have connected the RFID tag. Now the Arduino cannot deliver 5 12 volts which this solenoid valve requires so Arduino Nano can only give 5 volts right so in order to power this we require an external 12 volt adapter which we connect it like this and we have now 12 volt supply which we can give to this solenoid solenoid latch so we will give it 12 volts this will retract back back and then only we can open the door. So we'll connect it. Connect this charger. And I'll give it supply. I'll give this latch supply to test it. So when so when I give it 12 volts, it retracts. And when I disconnect the 12 volts, it goes back to a normal position. So in this way, this latch works. So what we need to do is when the tag is tapped, this Arduino Nano will give high voltage to this MOSFET driver circuit. So that's why you require this MOSFET because Arduino cannot give 12 volts, right? So 12 volt is switched by this MOSFET. So 5 volt goes to the input of the gate of this MOSFET and this MOSFET switches ground which is given to uh, this solenoid valve. This solenoid valve retracts and the door is open. So let's connect this. So this MOSFET driver has one input which goes to pin 2 of Arduino Nano. The circuit diagram is given in the blog of the driver circuit, link is in the description. And this ground of this driver circuit will go to the ground of Arduino Nano. So the ground must be common. So this 12 volt ground will also go to the ground of Arduino Nano which is to the source. So the source of the MOSFET, the MOSFET contains three pins, source, gate and drain. So I am connecting source to the ground. So source is connected to the ground of Arduino Nano and also to the ground of the 12 volt supply. And when the gate gets 5 volts from the Arduino Nano, the source ground is switched to the drain. So the drain gets ground and that ground is given to the solenoid valve. Okay, like this. And now the 12 volt line is given to the 12 volt of this solenoid valve. So in this way the connection is done. Now let's connect the Arduino Nano to computer and upload the code. So now let's look at the code that is very important because that's how the tag IDs are going to be read. So I'll connect it to the COM port and shift it here and then I will connect it to the COM port. So I've connected the board to the COM port and I will open the Arduino IDE. So I've already 
type the code i will just go through the code line by line so it's very simple first you have to include the spi library because we are using the spi protocol then you have to include the rfid reader library so the library zip file is given in the description click on that link and the zip file will be installed then you just go to sketch include library and add zip library click on add zip library you browse to the folder where the zip file is stored normally it will be in the downloads and just you click on this rfid master and it will be installed so i will click on this and i will hit on open so for me it's showing it will show it's already installed yes see it's showing a library name already exists i will hit on no because i have already installed it so after installing the library then i define the slave select pin which is on pin 10 the reset pin which is 9 led pin which is 2 and number of ids so right now i have here four rfid tags okay so i have here so these two are the keychain type and these two are the card types so this this total i have four rfid tags so i have included only three because one is not registered one is like mm, yes not re not registered which is outsider so right now i have here in the next line i have written string register tag ids so these are all the register tag IDs in the array and the next variable is tag ID. So this variable stores the tag when we tap it on the reader, it is stored in this variable tag ID. The next line is uh, to initialize the slave select pin and reset pin. Then we include the counter variable. Then in the void setup, we have included LED as output. Then we turn off the LED, baud rate is 9600. Then we start the SPI communication. Now this function in the void loop is very important, read ID. So this read ID function is called and whenever this function is called, it will check whether the card is present or not. When the card is present, not present, it will return false. And if the card is present, then it will store the tag ID, which is a four byte code in the tag ID variable. It will run the for loop all the way to 4 and it will convert it into hex and then it will return true. Okay, it will return true that means the card was detected and the code was successfully stored in tag id. And if it returns true, then only this if condition is satisfied and then we print the tag id. And then the for loop is initiated in this for loop. It basically goes through each and every code in the array. So here we have three codes. So it runs through all the codes, goes on comparing with one and one code. So it goes on comparing with all the codes. And if it matches, then only the LED turns on and our latch is open. And if suppose some unknown ID is tapped, which is not in the array, then what happens? The latch doesn't turn on, the door is not open. You can also connect one buzzer to it if you want. So it will show some intruder has detected. So now let's upload this code. So yes, the code is uploaded. Now we'll open the serial monitor and I will tap this RFID. And you can see that the code is on the serial monitor and also this latch retracts. So I will show you this latch will retract. You can hear it with the sound when the card is tapped and also the onboard LED is on. So this is a registered RFID tag. Okay, and the port got disconnected. Okay, so when I tap this RFID tag, the latch retracts. So this is another RFID tag. This is also registered. And this is also, so when we tap it, we come to know. So this is access denied. So you can see that access denied is on the serial monitor. This ID is someone who is coming from outside. So the door latch will not get open. Access denied is printed on the serial monitor. And this ID is registered. So when we will tap it, the door latch will open. So in this way, we can make a simple system using Arduino Nano and a solenoid latch to open the door. This was the project in which we saw how to make a simple door latch using RFID technology. So if you like this video, found this video useful, then like this video, subscribe to Robu for more amazing content. 
Until next time, stay tuned with Robu. See you next time. Thanks for watching.